Okay, so last time we looked at this function, we uh, <clears throat> plotted this function, right, the intensity of the, of the radiation as a function of frequency, and uh, we could uh, also write this in terms of the wavelength. So um, let's see, omega is uh, 2 pi times the frequency, and uh, the frequency, uh, so, and we have uh, frequency times wavelength is the speed, speed of light. <clears throat> and so this function looks like uh, h bar times 2 pi speed of light over the wavelength divided by e to the 2 pi h bar somewhat redundant because this is h over 2 pi, so really that's just h c over lambda kt minus 1. And we could plot the intensity versus wavelength this way. Uh, we get a similar curve, and then we could look at the temperature, right? We saw the peak temperature, h bar omega max over 2.8k. Uh, and that's the same thing as h bar times 2 pi c, which again, that's just h over 2.8k uh, lambda max, right, the peak wavelength. <clears throat> so we could draw this curve. These curves look, you know, they look something like that, depending on, um, <clears throat> yeah, they'll, they'll have a, a peak wavelength that reveals the temperature of the body. Uh, maybe I'll show you <coughs> this curve from an actual textbook. <coughs> so let's maybe focus in on this. All right, so we see the um, intensity plotted here versus the wavelength, and for um, different uh, temperatures, so bodies with different temperature, this one peaks at some temperature here, I can't even see it, but this one has a peak at a temperature of 3000 Kelvin, and we have uh, right the relationship between temperature and wavelength, so the wavelength is 970 nanometers, and <clears throat> if we, and, and it peaks, uh, in a place where it is beyond the red, right? So this is the infrared, not in the visible. This one is um, hotter, right? T equals 4,000 Kelvin. It has a uh, peak wavelength that is smaller, a right? higher frequency, and now it appears in the visible, right? It's in, it's in the red, part of the electromagnetic spectrum. This one's even hotter, peaks at 5,000 Kelvin, lower wavelength, 580 nanometers, uh, it's peaking in the yellow, right, like the sun, and and then uh, even higher temperature, 6,000 Kelvin, wavelength uh, even smaller, it's still in the visible, but in the green, and so you can see that these curves are shifting, their peaks are shifting uh, more and more to the left, the hotter these bodies are.